This is your phone, isn't it? Maybe. So, you have been impersonating Ethan's estranged mother. What kind of sick game are you playing? It's not a game. Everything I've done, it's been for you. No, don't insult me. You were so close with Ethan years ago, right? I thought if he started to confide in you, which he did, if you shared a secret, which you have done, then he'd start to trust you again. And he has, hasn't he? Then Charles would see how fabulous you were with Ethan. He'd be reminded of how fabulous you are. And then he might dump Andrea and want to be with you. First, and for the upteenth time, I am married to my husband, whom I love. And second, that woman broke Charles's heart. Have you any idea the hurt you've stirred up? What it must have taken for him to pick up the phone and call her? I do now, okay? And I'm really sorry. And he doesn't have a clue about any of this, so if I just bin the phone... No! You have set father and son against each other, meddled in their lives. They may never get over this, even if they know the truth. What they don't know won't hurt them, will it? Can we, can we try and focus on the positives? Positives? There are no positives. You are manipulative and dishonest. I think it's time you and I had a chat with Charles. Don't you?